One bright and early morning, Mavis awoke to Elizabeth arriving in the quarry. Good morning, Elizabeth. My, that doesn't sound good. I know, she groaned. My engine has seen better days. Have you had it looked at recently? That's actually where I was headed after this delivery. Oh, that's good news. Don't want you breaking down on the road. Indeed. Speaking of, I believe I'm ready to leave. Well, not if your engine won't start. Is everything all right up there, driver? Well, like I said, I can't get your engine to start. I'll come out and take a look. I'm sorry, Elizabeth, but I don't think we're moving anywhere else today. Oh, bother. It's still early. What about the rest of our jobs? I suppose the quarry will have to find a replacement, but Butch is on his way soon. Oh dear, Elizabeth. I hope they get everything fixed quickly. We'll miss you up here at the quarry. Thank you, dear. I'm sure I'll be fine, replied Elizabeth. Work still had to go on, though, and Mavis continued shunting in the quarry. Eventually, her stone train was ready, and she departed from the quarry, heading down the branch line. But upon entering the tramway crossing, she was in for a nasty surprise. Driver, stop! Get out of the way! Oh, I hate those reckless lorries! Is everything else okay, driver? Seems we've lost a brake pipe. I'm afraid we'll need help getting over to the station. Oh, bother. As if this day couldn't get any worse. Meanwhile, over at Farquhar, the station master walked up to Toby. Toby, I'm afraid Mavis is having some trouble on the crossing. I'll need you to clear the line. No problem, sir, replied Toby, and he headed over to where Mavis was. Now, Mavis, we've been through this before, but are you alright? I'm fine, but I had to stop so sharply I broke the brakes on one of my trucks. No matter, replied Toby. It's just a good thing we didn't have an accident here this morning, he said as he coupled up. Toby helped Mavis over the crossing, and once her truck's brakes were looked at, she continued on her way. Toby then departed to bring the workmen up to the quarry. Before he was ready to leave, Thomas puffed in with a fuel delivery. Morning, Toby. How are things? Fine, but I'm just a bit concerned for Mavis. Yeah, I caught up with her this morning, but I think she's doing okay now. Oh, well, that's very good to hear. D toby look! Thomas, what on earth is the matter with you? It's one of those awful lorries! He's back! Oh, Thomas, you can't be serious. Just then, one of the lorries raced by. Do you believe me now? Unfortunately, yes. Happy to see me, are you? I didn't even think you clapped out steamless would still be in service. We're much more capable than you are, retorted Thomas. What are you even doing back here anyway? I'm simply replacing that old steam lorry that was somehow still of use. I don't even like Elizabeth, but I'd take her over you any day. Thomas, I think that was your guard's whistle. Let's get going, Thomas. I can already feel your boiler pressure rising. All right, this isn't over. It is for now, said Toby. Don't let him get to you. And Thomas left without another word. Later, Thomas was waiting at Farquhar when Mavis pulled up alongside. Hello, Thomas, she called. Afternoon, Mavis, he replied, still upset about the day's earlier events. Just then, Bertie pulled up alongside the two. Oh, hello, Bertie. Hi, Bertie. Hello, you two. What's with the long face, Thomas? I had the worst run-in with an awful lorry today up at the quarry. Oh, so did I, just leaving the quarry. I nearly hit him on the crossing. Oh, dear, I know exactly who you're talking about. I ran into him this morning as well. I just can't stand seeing any of those things back in my branch line. Indeed. I just wish there was a way we could get the better of him. Hold on a second, guys. I think I have an idea. Well, Thomas, let's hear it. Well, for starters, it's going to involve both of you. And the two of them eagerly listened. A few days later, the plan had been set to action, and Mavis left the quarry with one of her stone trains. She pulled up to the crossing a few minutes early to get ahead of the lorry, and right on cue, he came speeding in around the corner, and Mavis stopped sharply in front of him. You nearly hit me, you big clumsy engine. Watch where you're going. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, said Mavis. Hold on, I'll get out of your way. All right, hurry it up. I ain't got all day. And right on cue, Bertie pulled up behind them. Oh, hello, Mavis. Fancy seeing you here. All right, now you're blocking traffic. What's the holdup? Just then... 
four police officers on board Birdie stepped outside. Excuse me, but uh, we need to talk to you and your driver. Mavis was struggling to hold in her laughter when she saw Butch approaching. The lorry had been impounded, and his driver went back with the police. Thank you again, Butch, for helping us out. Oh, it's not a problem at all. I've been nearly run off the roads too by these lorries. And I think I speak for all of us when I say I feel much safer on the roads. Once all had been cleared up, Mavis continued on her way back down the line. And later that day, she returned to the quarry. Good evening, Toby, she exclaimed. Well, hello, Mavis. You seem in a good mood. Oh, I am. We finally caught that lorry earlier today. Oh, really? How on earth did you manage that? Just then, Thomas backed in. It may or may not have something to do with me. Yes, indeed. Thomas, your plan worked flawlessly. Oh, dear, Mavis. I can't wait to hear about this for the next few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> At that moment, Elizabeth proudly returned. Well, hello, you three. It's good to be back. Oh, welcome back, Elizabeth. It's good to see you on your wheels again. Yeah, well, speak for yourself. My driver was able to replace my engine with a brand new one, and I feel wonderful. I'm glad to hear that, Elizabeth. You're better for this quarry than those horrid lorries any day. And with all of the lorry trouble out of the way, I'm glad we can get things around here back to normal. And the others couldn't agree with that anymore. 